Oh, fine. Good evening, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. In fact, I'm in Montgomery, Vermont uh, this evening. Montgomery, Vermont is kind of close to the Canadian border, so, you know, certainly up north of where I live. And this beautiful covered bridge we see in front of us is the West Hill Covered Bridge. The West Hill Covered Bridge, also known as the Crystal Springs Covered Bridge, is a wooden covered bridge that crosses West Hill Brook on Creamery Ridge Road in Montgomery, Vermont. This is Creamery Bridge Road. Funny story about this road, if you don't mind a momentary interlude. I was on a Hill West Road, and um, it said, uh, you're going to turn right onto the next road. So I'm slowing down and slowing down and slowing down. I see no street sign because there is no street sign on the street. Well, road, very much dirt road. It was a great dirt road, by the way. Uh, Hill West was a great dirt road, 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 very well maintained. And this one just kept it getting more like this, this dirt gravel stuff, very slick. So be careful. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. Road? What road? All right, back to this. It is one of six surviving 19th century bridges built in Montgomery by the brothers Sheldon and Savannah Jewett and was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. The West Hill Covered Bridge stands in a rural area about three miles or 4.8 kilometers south of Montgomery's village center, carrying Creamery Bridge Road across West Hill Brook, west of Hill West Road. That's a lot of blah, blah. It is a single span town lattice truss, 59 feet or 18 meters long, and 19.5 feet or 5.9 meters wide, with a roadway width of 16 feet or 4.9 meters. It is a one lane bridge. It is covered by a gable roof, and its exterior is finished in vertical board siding, which is wrapped around to the insides of the portals. Portals are the entrances. The siding ends before the roof eaves, leaving an open strip. The bridge deck consists of wooden planking. We're going to walk it very shortly. The bridge was built by Sheldon and Savannah Jewett, brothers who built several bridges in the area, and had a farm and lumber mill nearby this area where they prepared the lumber for the bridges they built. This bridge's date of construction is unknown. The Jewards are known to have been active between about 1860 and 1890. That's 1860 and 1890. Although not officially cited, this bridge also goes by the name of Creamery Covered Bridge Road. Or Creamery Covered Bridge, excuse me. Due to a creamery, that was located adjacent to the bridge site. Remains of the creamery are still visible in the woods next to the bridge. I'm thinking not this time of the year, but, um, no. Oh. Maybe to my right. I'll, um, maybe those stones right there. But it is posted no trespassing. And, um, although I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'm certainly going to honor that. Once a busy area, the location in which the bridge served was slowly abandoned. The bridge and the road leading up to it fell into serious disrepair, and the bridge was closed in 1994. A complete renovation was carried out by Alpine Construction of Schuylerville, New York in 2009. A comprehensive series of articles chronicling the work can be found on the Vermont Covered Bridges website. Despite the renovation of the bridge, the road as it approaches the bridge from either direction is little more than a one-lane, loose gravel and rock path which is closed seasonally. The remote location has unfortunately allowed many acts of graffiti to be carried out inside the bridge. Ugh, I hate that. Hate, hate, hate that. All right, well, oh yeah, I see some graffiti right now. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take a walk inside and see what we can see. Alrighty, and here we go. Alright, well, that's West Hill Brook down there. We can hear it. Can we see it? I'm not walking down there because this would be treacherous, both down and up. 
But there's the brook right there. Which is why there would have been a building, you know, a, a factory built here. Because the, the water would have powered it. All right. Let's hope it stays nice and quiet the way I like it to be. All right. Does my light help at all? Oh, my light is almost dead. Okay. Well, that's the uh, graffiti on this side. You matter. So, a town lattice truss bridge. So glad the fake lighting in here for my camera makes it seem lighter than it is. So, it looks like a lattice. See? There and there. It's the diagonal pieces. You can see the wooden planking. You can see here wooden pegs. So to tighten it, uh, when when if and when the lattice uh, went out of uh, being tight enough, uh, you would um, hammer the wooden pegs in more. You might even have to replace them if you weren't careful. All right. We can see the brook again through there, through the window here. Not really a window, it's just, uh, it's almost like a plank is missing. Well, a plank is missing. <laughs> this looks like an area where pedestrians may walk. I love the sound of rushing water, don't you? See some trees through this window over here. And this is actually a bona fide window here. Water down there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we see more of this loose gravel dirt stuff. I wasn't fond of driving out, I have to say. And over here, we have this lovely rushing water. Thankfully, no traffic. Let's see. Oh, some people have, have even carved their names in the dog doggone um, bridge. Shame on you. Shame on you. No one gives you, nothing gives you the right to do that. All right, so the vertical board siding we see in front of us, and it's um, along the side as well. It does wrap around to the portals. Portals, of course, are the entrances. Gable end. That's the gable roof they're talking about. So, this is the West Hill Bridge. Unofficially the creamery covered bridge. Um, so, pretty nice. I wasn't able to get here until now. And so, it, yes, it's closed all winter long. Uh, road closure signs all over when I typed into Google Maps. But Google Maps got me here. All right. Well, this is Patricia. And you know the drill. If you like my content, if you love my content, right, please subscribe. I upload every day of the week. I'm on all the social media. You are, too. Traveling for history everywhere with one L and traveling, except for Twitter. And I'm traveling for high one there. Traveling for H I. Numeral one. So again, if you uh, enjoy the content, you want to see photographs, hey, follow me. I'm on, so on Instagram and Facebook, Traveling for History, you can see my photographs. I upload photographs and or videos every, every day of the week. I will say that the uh, 
floorboards feel a bit soft in places. I mean, yes, I'm fat, but I'm not uh, as, as heavy as my doggone vehicle. I would not want to drive through this. I'm glad I'm going to be turning around and, and uh, going back the way, the way I came. Oh, and let's look, take a look, see at the roof as long as we're here. See the roof, the ceiling. Roof, oh my gosh. My apologies. My first day on the road since August. Feels good to be out again. Oh yeah. Yeah, we see more of the uh, creamery right here too. Foundations. Picture no trees. There wouldn't be any trees around here. All right, well, this is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. Until I see you again, I hope you have an absolutely fabulous night. Thanks for watching. Bye.